Yeah, welcome to the channel. The name of the channel is Online Apprentice. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. So I'll be teaching you the different types of suits. And first we'll be dealing with the lapel. From the lapel, you could tell what type of suit you're dealing with. There are three different types of suits based on the lapel. We have the notch, the peak, and the shawl lapel. We'll be starting with the notch lapel. Yeah, the basic feature of the notch lapel is the joining between the collar and the lapel. As you can see, it forms that V-shape. That V-shape is what makes it a notch lapel. The peak lapel. The main feature on the peak lapel is the joining also between the collar and the lapel. But this time, the joining is closed and the lapel is basically always longer than the collar at the joining point then we have the shawl lapel the main feature on this type of suit based on the lapel can be seen and this is the fact that the joining between the collar and the lapel is in invisible there's absolutely no joining in fact the joining of the collar is done at the back of the collar so you don't even see it then the vent, you can tell the type of a suit by the vent. The vent is the opening at the back of the suit. And it is of three types, the center, the side, and the ones with no vent. From these different positions, you can tell the type of a suit. Now the single vent, the single vent, which is basically always at the center. This is at the center of the back of the suit. And it's just one. Then you have the double vent, which is a, which can also be called the side vent. It's basically at the both sides of the back of the suit, and it's mostly two. Then we have the no vent. There are suits that doesn't have vents, and they're mostly for female suits. But on rare occasions, you see men suits having no vents. You could also tell the type of a suit by the button arrangement. And this is basically of two types. We have the single breasted and the double breasted. So we'll be starting with the single breasted. The single breasted suit is basically your normal type of suit. Where one part of a suit covers the other part of a suit at the button arrangement by just half inch. Sometimes they have single buttons, sometimes they have double buttons, and sometimes they have more. Then we have the double breasted. This type of suit is the type of suit you see with many buttons. And you have one part of the suit covering the other part of the suit with two or even more inches. Most times they have four six eight or even more buttons then you could also tell the type of a suit by the facing most suits have the same color of materials on their facing but a tuxedo a tuxedo always have um, a thick material used as the facing and that's what makes it a tuxedo as you can see the part of the facing is darker and then the number pass, this is a clear example of a tux. So a tuxedo has a silk material used for the facing. You could also tell the type of a suit by the color of the suit. This is mostly your normal type of your suit or your tan suit. Your tan suit is basically the type of suit you see that has very, very light colors. They are mostly used for on serious occasions. In fact, the greatest con one of the greatest controversies on Obama's regime was when he wore a tan suit to address a press conference. 
it was deemed that he took the press the press conference on seriously and he was really criticized for that you could also tell the type of suit by the country of origin different countries have different trademarks when it comes to suits the french suit this is basically short sleeve suit with a bishop collar as you can see the collar mostly don't overlap each other they have like an one inch space between each other so the shirt sleeve and the bishop collar and the presence of many buttons is what gives away the attributes of a french suit then you have the chinese suit these are mostly long sleeve suits and you have the bishop collar overlapping each other with numerous buttons too they can also be casually made this is what you get when it is casually made and this could be used for almost your everyday activity and they can also be traditionally made here you see the dragon logo the dragon logo has a very great heritage when it comes to the chinese then you have the italian suit this is basically your tailor-made suit the italians like to play a lot with different types of materials and they make a suit that fits you perfectly well with the right curves then the safari suit this has something to do with africa hemisway came to africa to study the wildlife in the jungle then he designed like a jungle suit that he can use for hunting nowadays you see the female type of it this is also a safari suit when hemisway came to africa and he went hunting and killed the buffalo he made this suit really really popular and as you can see on the picture of him is way killing a buffalo the americans don't really have a trademark on the suit so when an american tell you i have an american jacket this is what he's actually talking about not really a contemporary suit as you know every high school in america has a uniform made in this form and they call it the seniors wear you could also tell the type of a suit by the size. Gone are the days where people wear suits that are bogus. Now you see people wearing just a slim fit type. Everybody wants a slim fit. So this is what we're talking about. So nobody wears these anymore. Yeah, with all these, I'm very sure you can be able to name a suit. Thanks for watching.